Hello everyone, moving into point slope form now. We're going to start off by graphing an equation that's given to us in point slope form. This is part of section S in IXL's Algebra 1. So well, before we get to that, let's talk about point slope form. Point slope form looks like this. Y minus Y sub 1 equals M times X minus X sub 1. In this, we know M is the slope, just like point slope or uh, slope intercept form. And the x1, y1, or x sub 1, y sub 1, is just any other point on the line. Okay, and basically this is just kind of glorified uh, slope formula. Because we know that um, we can find the slope by doing y minus another y over x minus another x. Changing y over changing x, rise over run. And if we just multiply both sides by x uh, minus x sub 1, over here you get canceled out and we'd be left with y minus y sub 1. And if we do the same thing over here to keep things balanced, you'd have m times x minus x sub 1. So, I mean, basically it's just a slope equation rewritten. Okay, so in this, one of the points on the line is 1, 2, as in 1, 2. All right, so that's this point right here. Okay, and then our slope is 1 half. So from there, we would go up 1 and right 2. All right, and we could keep going up 1, right 2, but all that IXL is going to require us to do is click two points. Well, we've got plenty. So here we go. Our line would just look like this. So it goes through the point one two with a slope of one half. All right. Well, this is a little bit different. This time our point is negative 10, negative seven, because if you remember, it was y minus y sub one and then x minus x sub 1. So we take actually the opposite of these values all the time. So negative 10, negative 7 is right there. And then our slope is 2. That means a rise of 2 and a run of 1. That would be right there, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And, you know, if we were doing this on graph paper, we just keep going. So we have a nice straight line. Through all these points. So this point or this line goes through the point negative 10, negative 7 with a slope of 2. So which point does this run through? It runs through negative 5. I'm taking the opposite of that. And positive 2. I'm taking the opposite of that. Negative 5, positive 2. And then all we need to know is the slope, which is negative 5. That means down 5 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down, right 1. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up, left 1. Either way, we've got our line that runs through the point negative 5, 2 with a slope of negative 5. I wanted to throw some tricky ones on here that I found while doing IXL. Uh, what point does this run through? It runs through 0, 5. You can kind of think about this as 1 fifth times x minus 0. So that's where I got the 0 and then 5, which is this point. And then our slope is 1 fifth. That means up 1 over 5. And I could go down one left five if I wanted to a couple times. And there's our line that runs through the point, zero five with a slope of one fifth. What about this one? Um, this one you could kind of look at it like that's a quantity that's being multiplied by one. So our slope is one, and the point that this runs through is two seven. Opposite of negative two, opposite of seven. 2, 7 is right here. Slope of 1 just means up 1, right 1, or down 1, left 1. 
think we get it. So a line that runs through the point to seven with a slope of one. And let's do one more. Point slope form. We know it's it's called point slope form because we know a point that it runs through. In this case, that point is the opposite of one, negative one, and the opposite of negative six, six. So negative one, positive six, runs through that point with a slope of negative one. That means down one, right one. So negative one for the slope. All right, so our line looks like this. It's a line that has, that runs through the point negative one, six with a slope of negative one. So graphing lines in point slope form, pretty easy. You identify the point that it runs through and then use the slope. Good luck, let me know how it goes.